Buxtehude is a very old town. It's a, a, a fairy tale town. For example, uh, the fairy tale about Hase and Eagle, Hedgehog and the Rabbit. This story is born in Buxtehude. And different uh, uh, stories. Uh, it is a really funny, close, old, a Dutch-made town and uh, the people are um, clever. I would say clever and looking forward. I met Hayo 10 years ago. He was 22 years old. 22 years. It was in a Chinese restaurant in Hamburg. I was there, uh, had an appointment with friends. I had already opened here in Buxtehude the Kultur Forum. The Kultur Forum is a very nice cultural place right on the River Este. And so I invited everybody uh, if, even if he was a painter, if he was a, an actor, if he was a musician, whatever, I invited them to play in my Kultur Forum. So we drank a little bit and uh, we were talking and uh, so I asked him if he would like to play in Buxtehude. I promised him a lot of things. I said, listen, Hayu, in close to Buxtehude, they are building the biggest airplane in the world. It is A380 from Airbus. He was looking at me and I said, I'm going to make a concert right off this plane in a hall for you on the piano. He said, not bad. So we have here uh, uh, the biggest uh, fruit place in Germany on the River Elbe. I told him in uh, uh, springtime, I'm going to make a nice picture with a blossom of sherry and a black uh, Steinway and you play there. He looked at me again and said, that would be wonderful. So I asked him to come and said, Hayu, if you come to Buxtehude, please, you have to promise me to come five years, every year, one time to Buxtehude to play, so I'm going to arrange something. Now we are uh, working together for nine years. Next year is our 10th uh, jubileum. And uh, we never signed a contract. Everything we are doing and everything we, we organize and everything how we work together is without any contract, only in trust. And our festival is now it's growing and growing, it's getting bigger and bigger. We change music styles. We have today, we have a little bit of jazz in the, in the festival. And, um, and we have make school concert because everybody in the world is looking for young people to go in classical concerts. That's a really problem. And uh, for us, it was just a lucky punch. We started it in the first year. We never thought that it would be such a success, but it is great. Well, here's the San Petri Church. It's a symbolic sign here for Buxtehude. And Buxtehude was a city came into my ear at the time, turned back to about 10 years before. It was very interesting how I encountered with uh, Dieter here and we just came together. I think always thought about two crazy people, they will find each other, and the chemistry matched very well. Um, and we just spontaneously started doing this festival, almost been 10 years already. Yesterday I gave an extensive interview with a Chinese newspaper, uh, talking about the uh, Piano Award and the festival. And our main, main goal is to get more young audience into the classical music. To successfully organizing such a festival, it's not only about the music, of course music stays in the center. And uh, what's also very important is just 
the managing abilities and the detail he's doing the best. He's also the dream partner which I have once if I wish to have, that's definitely him. And what's really interesting is we have almost a half century age different. And uh, until now, it's been 10 years that we're collaborating together and we never had any difficulties to uh, communicate with each other. And as everything went very fluent and uh, also my assistant, for example, Hannah, and she also did the best job she could. And those kind of dream partner, partners is all the best. What? you could get possibly, and I, I could only say that I am lucky. So what we would like to say is, let's go to the future, let's go looking forward to the future, think bigger, think further, and um, live with the passion.嗯，其实用一个华人的名字来命名一个音乐节，这个在在我所工作过的这几个欧洲国家，这是不多见。嗯，这个充分体现了德国音乐界对张海鸥先生的这种高度评价。所以我觉得，呃，这个音乐节走
it seems to be very spontaneous without being unprofessional and there is some kind of chemistry that I think allows us to have very good understanding of what we both want to do in a concert. Um, he's a wonderful pianist and um, I admire him as a musician and also as an organizer. He seems to attract all the right people, all the right friends, musicians and very good audience. My name is Gabriel Adoyan. I'm the um, artistic leader of the Deutsches Kammerorchester Berlin and I'm also the concertmaster of the Komische Oper in Berlin. And yeah, that's me. <laughs> Hayu is a wonderful pianist. Um, we worked together the first time last year and we played two Mozart concerti and it was a very nice collaboration so we're happy to be here and play with him again. Yeah, we're planning a new project. We will record a CD in the next year, in the spring, and uh, it will be with Mozart concerto and a Beethoven concerto. I'm so pleased to be back in Buxtehude. This is my second visit. I first came here three years ago and I remember what a lovely, sweet town this is. And to have a festival in this time of year, September, beautiful sunshine, it's warm. It's a perfect time before the autumn starts to, to enjoy the music. And I love the festival. What's special about a festival is that the concerts are for the local people. It's anyone can come and listen to this music and we've chosen music which is for everyone to enjoy. However much you know classical music or not, this is just a, um, the concert for you. It's especially a great pleasure and fun to work with Hayo again on music. The first time we met was three years ago. We did a lovely, powerful concerto of Mozart. And this time I, I said, what would you like to do? I think he said, I'd like to do the last concerto of Beethoven, this grand piece, very famous, very difficult, but oh, he's got such amazing fingers, first of all. A pianist needs great fingers, but Hayo's fingers are quite something. And I love the way he, uh, when we rehearsed it, the music just flows and you, it's, it's like he's telling a story and we can all follow that story very well but he's not using words, he's just using his fingers and his mind. It's beautiful so I'm really, really happy to do this Beethoven with him.